بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این اللہ پرزینٹس این ایگزامپل آف دوز ہو بلیوڈ دا وائف آف فیرو وین شی سیڈ مائی لارڈ بلڈ فار می نیئر یو اے ہاؤس ان پیراڈائز اینڈ سیو می فرام فیرو این ہز ڈیڈس اینڈ سیو می فرام دا رانگ ڈوئنگ پیپل اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر اشہد ان لا الہ الا اللہ اشہد ان محمد الرسول اللہ حی علی الصلاة حی علی الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر لا الہ الا اللہ In this video series called The Pillars of Islam, we will explore the Islamic faith and shed some light on what being a Muslim entails. In the first video, we will briefly explore the five pillars of Islam and a bit more in depth, its first pillar, the Shahada. سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد The information contained within this video is inspired by Al-Ghazali's book Ihya Ulum Uddin or the Revival of Religious Learnings Statistically speaking there are over 1.5 billion followers or believers in the Islamic faith and religion So one might ask, what is Islam? Islam is one of the Abrahamic religions given to Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's mercy and peace be upon him. And the followers of this religion are called Muslims. The other religions stemming from the same Abrahamic tradition are Christianity and Judaism. The Quran mentions scriptures sent for humanity in the following verse. Indeed we have sent our messengers with clear proofs and revealed with them the scripture and the balance that mankind may keep up justice The Torah is mentioned in the following verse Indeed we sent down the Torah in which was guidance and light the prophets who submitted judged by it for the Jews as did the rabbis and scholars by that with which they were entrusted of the scripture of allah and they were witnesses there too so do not fear the people but fear me and do not exchange my verses for a small price and whoever does not judge by what allah has revealed then it is those who are the disbelievers the zabur or psalms is mentioned in the following verse indeed we have sent revelation to you o prophet As we sent revelation to Noah and the prophets after him we also sent revelation to Abraham Ishmael Isaac Jacob and his descendants as well as Jesus Job Jonah Aaron and Solomon and to David we gave the psalms the gospel is mentioned in the following verse and decree for us in this world that which is good and also in the hereafter indeed we have turned back to you Allah said my punishment i afflict with it whom i will but my mercy encompasses all things so i will decree it especially for those who fear me and give zakah and those who believe in our verses those who follow the messenger the unlettered prophet whom they find written in what they have of the torah and the gospel who enjoins upon them what is right and prohibits them from what is wrong and makes lawful for them what is good and forbids them from what is evil and relieves them of their burden and the shackles which were upon them so they who have believed in him honored him supported him and followed the light which was sent down with him it is those who will be the successful the quran is mentioned in the following verses He has sent down upon you O Muhammad 
the book in truth confirming what was before it and he revealed the torah and the gospel before as guidance for the people and he revealed the criterion indeed those who disbelieve in the verses of allah will have a severe punishment and allah is exalted in might the owner of retribution the quran is the final book in the islamic faith that will stay true till the end of time the judgment day is referred to as the day of resurrection in the following verses of the holy quran say allah causes you to live then causes you to die then he will assemble you for the day of resurrection about which there is no doubt but most of the people do not know so a muslim is someone who follows islam in that they are invoking its five pillars in the prescribed way the five pillars of islam are shahada the professions of faith salat or prayer zakat or charity roza or fasting hajj or the holy pilgrimage in this episode we will start with the first pillar of islam the shahada to become a muslim requires a firm belief that there is one true god for the entire universe to enter islam one must say the kalma shahadat ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa tahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu i bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except allah the one alone without partner and i bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is his servant and messenger from saying and firmly believing in the shahada the journey of islam and becoming a muslim is then to work on a life that is preparing them for the final day or in other words the day of resurrection imam abu hamid al ghazali in his book ihya ulum din or the revival of religious learnings expands on the shahada in the following way It is the knowledge of essence of God and it is established on 10 bases. They are the knowledge and belief that God is existing, eternal, ancient, without form, without body, without length and breadth, without any special direction, occupying no space, object of vision of the next world, and he is one without any partner. It is to have knowledge of his attributes and to believe them. it is founded on 10 bases he is all powerful all knowing living forever willing hearing seeing speaking eternal in words knowledge and will and free from changes of events it is to have knowledge and faith in his works which are established over 10 bases they are that men's actions are created willed and fixed by god that he is kind to creatures free from imposing works beyond power of men that he punishes men does what he wills that there is nothing obligatory on him that he sent apostles and that our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam was helped by miracles and that his prophethood will last till the day of resurrection it is to believe in the things accepted on authority and it is based on 10 things it is to believe in the truth of resurrection questions by munkar and nakir punishment of the grave the balance the bridge paradise hell the true imams excellence of companions in accordance with chronological order and qualifications of being an imam after the shahada is declared the journey for a person begins and to become a complete muslim one must undertake more decreed responsibilities in the next episode we will explore the second pillar of islam which is the namaz till then may the light of allah guide you and be with you allah hafiz wa umirtu an uslima li rabbil alamin huwa alladhi khalaqakum min turabin thumma 